Camtech Gwalior is a multidisciplinary centralized training center under the Ministry of Railways. This center develops technical publications and manuals on various railway assets and provides training through seminars and webinars, thereby assisting the maintenance team in improving the reliability and efficiency of the system. This video is related to the maintenance and testing of current transformers provided in railway traction substations. The CT of 132 kV rating is provided in the ABT metering system as well as on the primary side of the traction transformer to sense or measure the current for the meters and protective devices. CTs of 25 kV are used on the secondary sides of the traction transformer and capacitor bank circuit to sense or measure the current for the meters and protective devices. These CTs are available in various ratios depending on TR capacity. Various ratio of CTs provided in TSS. Maintenance of current transformer. The periodic maintenance of the current transformer is carried out in monthly, half yearly and annually. Monthly schedule. On a monthly schedule perform activities like checking insulators, terminal connectors, checking oil levels in the bushing, earthing connections, etc. Half yearly schedule In the half yearly schedule perform activities like checking of tightness of earth link, measurement of IR values, etc. in addition to monthly schedule activities. Annually schedule in annual schedule performs activities like check the painting and perform polarity and ratio test etc. in addition to half yearly and monthly schedule activities. Safety precautions before maintenance. For the safety of equipment and personnel, ensure that switch off the power supply by the opening circuit breaker and isolation to be done by opening isolators and then provide discharge rods at both ends of CT under maintenance and discharge the residual charges. After this, open the connections of both HV terminals of CT and also ensure the use of personal protective equipment for safety such as electrical grade shoes, helmets, etc. Many activities that have to be performed during maintenance. Check the oil level in the indicator and top up the oil in the bushing if required. Also, check for any oil leakage from the tank and rectify the leakage if any. Check the surface of porcelain bushing for any damages, flash marks, or chipping of insulators. Clean all the bushing insulators thoroughly with a dry cotton cloth. Check all the connections and their tightness including earthing connections. Paint the top and bottom metallic portion except for connection terminals if the color is faded or rusted. Testing of CT As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be carried out at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Precautions before testing While performing the tests following precautions shall be taken care. Insulation resistance test the main objective of this test is to know the condition of insulation of windings of CT. This is a DC voltage injection test method and for this test, we require a 500 volt and 2.5 kV insulation tester. Open the connections and remove the earth link from the LV side. Steps for testing Here we are conducting a test for HV to earthing. Now connect the line and earth terminal of the tester to the HV terminal and equipment earthing through leads respectively. After that check all the connections and select the test voltage level to 2.5 kV. Now as we press the test button, a DC voltage is applied across the HV terminal and earth terminal which causes the flow of earth leakage current in the test circuit. This leakage current is measured by the tester and calculates the insulation resistance value by ratio of the applied voltage and the measured leakage current. Record the displayed value of IR in mega ohms 
and compare the value with the earlier record or OEM recommendations. If found less, investigate the issue and rectify it. The same test to be conducted for the combination of windings as shown in this table. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Ratio Test The ratio test is used to confirm that the ratio is consistent with the designed ratio as shown on the nameplate of CT. This test may be conducted by either secondary injection or primary injection test kit, variac, and clamp meter. Open the connections and remove earth link from LV side. Ratio test by secondary injection test kit. Voltage injection method. Steps for testing. Connect the primary leads of the tester to both primary terminals and connect the earth terminal of test kit CT earthing. Now connect the secondary leads to all secondary winding terminals and ensure that that source leads of the tester are connected to the highest ratio terminals of it. After that check all the connections and connect the single phase to 30 volt AC supply to the test kit. Now apply the test voltage below the knee point of CT between the highest ratio secondary terminals and this voltage induces the voltage in primary. This primary voltage is measured by kit and calculate the turn ratio and percentage error of the CT. Record the displayed value and compare the values with the designed ratio. If found beyond the permissible limits, take corrective actions. Ratio test by primary injection test kit. Current injection method. This test method is generally followed in the field. Steps for testing. Short both terminals of secondary winding tap under test and connect the clamp meter. Then connect primary leads of test kit to both primary terminals by cable which is capable to carry rated current of CT and connect the clamp meter. Now connect the single phase to 30 volt AC supply to the test kit through Variac to get the required current for testing. After that check all the connections and switch on the single phase AC supply to kit. Now inject the current in the primary and increase gradually up to the rated current of the primary winding. Then clamp meters at primary and secondary measure the currents and calculate the turn ratio and percentage error using the formulas. Take the readings and calculate the seat ratio and error. Repeat this test for all tapping of the secondary winding of CT. Record the ratio error. If found beyond the permissible limits, take corrective actions. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Polarity test by DC flicker method. This test ensures the correct polarity of the primary and secondary winding of CT, which is very important in various measurement and protection schemes. Steps for testing. Identify or mark the HV terminal as P1 and P2 and all LV terminals as S1, S2 and S3. Connect the S1 terminal to the positive terminal and connect S3 terminal to negative terminal of a DC analog ammeter. Connect the positive terminal of the 9 volt cell to the P1 terminal through the push button and connect the negative terminal of the 9 volt cell to the P2 terminal. Now press the push button. If the pointer of the DC analog ammeter deflects in the positive side in the scale, then the polarity of S1 and S3 is correct. If the pointer in the meter deflects in the negative side in the meter scale, then the polarity is reversed. Repeat this test for all cores or taps in the CT and check the polarity. Do not use any digital ammeter or digital multimeter in place of the analog DC ammeter. They will not serve the purpose of this test. Thermography Thermography is used to predict or identify defects and to rectify the same by carrying out preventive maintenance before in-service failure of equipment. Since analysis is based on the relative temperature of subcomponents instead of ambient temperature, therefore, images of the complete assembly should be taken. Checking should be carried out at the night time 
and the concerned component shall be under low. Limit for temperature variation and duration for rectification of issue is given in the table. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference.